All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today's is gonna be a quick unboxing of my new Tane coilovers. These are for the Honda Prelude 97 to 2001. And these are actually my first coilovers that I've ever bought. So um, I opened the box just to see if everything was inside and check um, that nothing was broken. But now I'm gonna do the full unboxing and take everything out. So here we go. All right, so this is the first coil over. Um, hopefully you guys can see it easily. This is the rear coil over. Um, I know this because of this part right here. Um, this just sits on the rear. It doesn't bolt in like the front. I'm gonna show you what you guys what that looks like. So, um, it just comes with some stickers, telling, um, giving instructions to tighten everything down to spec. Um, that's according to the manual that they provide. Also, I forgot to mention these are Tain Fleck Disease. Hopefully you guys can see that. So these are the Tain coilovers that you don't have to use the old upper mounts or any old parts. This is the full coilover. You literally take the old ones out and you bolt these back up and then you're good to go. This is your manual. Um, it comes with some chain stickers. This is like a chain badge, I believe. Um, it comes with some bolts, lock nuts for the the bolts for these on the struts. And all right, so these are the front coilovers. What I said before is that I know this because of the difference. They're pretty heavy, so that's why I'm kind of hard uh, having a hard time speaking, but. These um, coilovers are for the front. This is where you put that bolt and you tie it to, you bolt this already to the front assembly. Um, again, the red sticker is telling you to tighten everything at the specified torque according to the manual. Um, first impressions, it looks, I like the color of it. I like the green color of it. I like the material. Um, at least the metal it feels. Um, it feels solid, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, so I wanted to give you guys a different perspective of how at least it looks in the box. Um, this front strut was here and the other one was facing this way. So remove this, the manual was here. Then you open it up and you have the remaining rear strut here. This is the remaining rear strut. You can tell again by the bottom part. And then also the front strut. Again, this one is actually a lot bigger than the rear one. I'm gonna put them side by side so you guys can see. Again, with the bolt, that's how I know it's for the front. And as the box, for the box, there's only one tool remaining, which is your adjustment tool. You get two. This, I'll demonstrate how to use this on the coilover. coilover sorry. Comes with a pretty nice um, chain embedded on the on the tool. You get two, just in case you in case you lose the first one. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to use this tool on the coilover. This is the adjustment tool. You're gonna use this to adjust the ride height on your car. You are going to take the tool, it acts like, basically like a hook. You can see it there. The coilover has a set of teeth. You're gonna put the tool on the set of teeth and you're gonna be able to adjust the ride height of your car. You're gonna move it. Um, I don't know if this is up or down, but you should be able to get an idea once you move it. You can just flip it over, switch it to turn the other way and adjust your right height there. As you can see, I organized the coilover from right to left. The two right ones being the two front coilovers and the two on the left being the rear ones. Now, the front coilovers, you can see that they're actually a lot longer than the rear ones. Um, 
and also the rear coilovers again I think should be a lot easier to install because they don't have the bolt at the bottom that the front coilovers do now a difference that I noticed from the stock struts to the coilovers itself at least the ones that Tane offers is that the stock ones have three set of studs with the nuts this one only has two um, for the front ones but the rear ones do have three and you can adjust them accordingly um, other than that just make sure you read the manual torque everything to the right spec according to the manual itself that Tane offers and I'm pretty sure you should be good to go so if you guys hope you guys like the unboxing video and hopefully next time you see me will be installing the coilovers on the car itself. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you have any comments for me, just put them down below. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you and have a good day.